Hi guys, it's Alan here from Compass Media and I just wanted to jump on today. Um, it's I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about Zoom, okay? I know I done the uh, tutorial video the other day, but something came to light in the uh, last 24 hours, a post from the Business Insider, uh, basically talking about um, how um, trolls are now starting to invade uh, public Zoom calls uh, to share porn. And here, uh, I just wanted to jump on and show you how you can prevent this from happening with your Zoom calls. Don't panic, it's very, very simply done, okay? Um, obviously, in light of the situation of what we're going through at the moment, a lot more people are using Zoom and a lot of these trolls are actually starting to do this, which, you know, this always happens. There's always gonna be something happening like this, whether it be the coronavirus or whether it be any other um, time but at the same token you can protect yourself from this happening to you and happening to your attendees of your uh, zoom call or your zoom conference call i should say um so just so you're aware of it um it's a very very easy measure that you can take to prevent this from happening okay so what i want to do is, is i want to jump on and show you how you can actually do this how you can uh, enable this feature of uh, stopping people from sharing their screens uh, with you on a zoom call okay so basically that's the only way they can do it so by literally by putting um, these measures in place it will prevent any hackers from doing this okay so um where do we go? Very, very simple. You need to go to the uh, zoom.us, zoom.us, you can see Zoom are actually talking to me here, uh, zoom.us forward slash profile. So that's your profile. So basically, all you have to do is go to zoom.us and then click and sign in. Now we're already signed in here. So I am just going to, you'll find your uh, login details and your actual profile over in the right hand corner of the actual website. Okay. Once you click on that, you need to go to your settings. Okay, and when you go to your settings on your profile, so you see up the top you have your profile, that's where it'll automatically default to. So just go down to uh, settings, and when you click on your settings, you need to go to in meeting basic. Okay, so when you go to in meeting basic, it'll bring you down to the particular area that we're going to be talking about today. And basically, what you're looking for is screen sharing. Okay, so as you can see here, I've already taken that measure and put it that only the host can share um, his screen. Okay, so any participants or any people that are in the meeting they cannot share your screen if you want them to share your screen uh, or if you want them to share their screen with you you just need to click and go all participants okay and then obviously do the whole do this um and then save the actual settings okay but what i would suggest is, is for the current climate uh, if you have a number of people in a zoom call i would only allow myself to do it now you can change this throughout the meeting if you want to go and change this you can actually you can actually enable this feature or or enable this um restriction um for people to actually to be able to um share their documents but if it's just a face-to-face -face meeting and you're having a talk or you're having a networking meeting or whatever it may be that you are doing on your Zoom call, um, I would suggest you to leave it that only the host can actually uh, share documents or share his screen with um, with the audience, okay? So that's the simple way of doing it. So as I said, you just go to your profile. Um, as you can see, you go to your profile and then you go to settings and you go to uh, meet. You can see here, this has menus of schedule a meeting, in meeting basics, in meeting advanced, email notifications and others. And basically this is just like a quick menu that will bring you to the area that you wanna talk about. Go down, you can then click on uh, screen sharing and just click host only, okay? You can turn it off all altogether, but when you turn when you do turn it off, it takes your anecdote, uh, your anecdotes. Also takes your remote control, your disabled desktop and screen and and whiteboard as well options out as well. So, if you want to be overprotective, you can do that as well. But to prevent the measure of someone being able to share the screen, 
all you do is just turn on um, the host only can share the screen okay very important you can also um, you can do the same with your file transfer as well this was mentioned in the article as well so turning off your file uh, transfer where you just have no one can transfer files to you so if someone was trying to send you something that may have something on it I don't know a virus or whatever it may be you 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 can disable that feature as well um i leave that on because the people that i would have in a meeting i would probably know and i know their trusted partners or their trusted uh, clients or customers or friends or family as well okay so it's it's up to you it is an option you can do that as well and it's in the same section so you're looking for a uh, screen sharing and then file transfer they're probably the two main ones that i would say to you to to look at there there is other options there where you can actually do a lot more but if you want to go in and have a look around browse you can you can set this up to whatever way you want but as i said i just wanted to let you know that the, how you can do this okay i hope this is of some in from uh, this of some use to you and uh, if you have any questions on zoom uh, please don't hesitate to get in contact with me you can email me at alan at compassmedia.ie you can also find me on all the social networks facebook twitter linkedin uh, instagram and we will also put this video as well up on YouTube as well as with uh, we have a number of other videos up there as well that you can uh, view that we will be putting up as stuff uh, as as information comes to light of how we can help and suggestions and if we come across anything ourselves we will be putting it up on our YouTube channel as well so do go and uh, subscribe to the channel so you uh, don't miss anything it will give you notifications as well so hopefully as I said this has helped you if you need any help uh, across social media digital marketing and also about uh, doing some live videos and also um, conference calls don't hesitate to get in contact with me. We're, we're delighted to help you if we can be of any service to you we're delighted to help you so have a great day uh, stay safe and uh, hopefully you start using this and hopefully as I said this is of some value to you so uh, until next time have a great day and uh, stay safe and uh, keep that social distance and we will get through this okay so as I always say be social until next time bye bye